good afternoon, my people. It's www.deucesswild22.com, www.figtreeglobal.com. It's your man Earl Livewire here. Monday, June uh, 18th, day 169. We are uh, in the Quad Cities moving around on some sales calls. And uh, yesterday we had a topic on uh, Sunday morning about dissing. And I think we're going to stay with this, this idea of urban language or making sure that we have a firm grasp on things that may be done to us or said to us. And today's subject matter is haters. Understanding haters. Now, I need you to, 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 to really listen to this video a few times because I really don't believe we have a understanding on what the term hater is because I see it used uh, even on these major sports radio talk shows I, I you know I hear it on the radio I see it on the news I see it uh, even in the church sometimes I see it uh, just in one-on-one -on -one situations when people are talking about someone else and you walk up on a conversation oh man you a hater and I need you to, to really study this video because I'm gonna I'm gonna help you guys really grasp what a true hater is. Now, there's three dimensions to being a hater, but there's one overall definition, and here's what you need to understand. Everybody cannot hate on you. Say that again. Everybody cannot hate on you. And here's the reason why. The true definition of a hater has to have the same capacity or level of ability that you have, the difference is they don't make the decisions physically, mentally, emotionally to perform or execute at your level or above. Okay? That's what makes a hater a hater. It's someone who has the capacity to be better, be as good or better than you, but what they do is they hate on the choice and the decisions that your effort produces. Therefore, they are hating on you instead of working hard. So what do you mean, Brother Earl? A lot of people who are critical of other people are simply dissing. That's yesterday's video. They're not hating on people, they're simply dissing them. Why? Because everybody can't hate on you. You have to be in the same genre, you have to be in the same uh, level of capacity, the same ability. To hate on you. That's why everyone can't hate on me. They cannot hate on you. All right? Now, with that being said, you should start laughing right now. Because a lot of you are taking what people do as this is as hating, and they're not. <laughs> and that just helped a thousand of y'all right there. Okay? That helped a million of y'all right there. Everybody cannot be a hater. All right? Level understanding one everybody can't be a hater so here are the three dimensions of hate all right here they go got my notes here first of all a hater can be a person who greatly dislikes a specified person or thing that has the behavior verbally mentally and shows it all right they got to show you that behavior they got to say that they hate they got to say things that put them in a category of hate display behavior that puts them in a category of hate. Remember now, this is beyond dissing. Okay? Because the person has the capacity to execute or perform at your level and above. But they choose not to be, they choose to hate on the decision and your execution. Which is what? What's us? Superior performance. That's why I don't get mad when people are critical of me. I don't get mad when they try to hate on me and my decisions I make. They don't like what I do. They're simply dissing. But watch this. If you're in my level of expertise, now you're hating now. Because you're hating on my decision to do X, Y, Z. All right? And they have the behavior and the verbal, grammar, and language to match. Okay? Second dimension of hate. Simply a person who is excessively negative or overly critical of a person okay remember now they're overly negative and they are excessively critical right you're hating 
If you're excessive, you're hating. If you're excessively and overly critical, now you're starting to hate. You've moved beyond dissing, now you're hating. All right, now here's the big boy one right here, okay? Here is the full 360 definition of hate, right? A person that cannot be joyful, you may say happy, for another person's success, period. So rather be celebrative, rather celebrate with you, the hater makes an expressive point of exposing a flaw in or about or of that person. For example, sometimes I stutter. So, since you don't want to work hard, and I choose to work hard, you're going to hate on my stuttering. Yeah, he worked hard though, but the man can't talk. Okay, now you hate now. All right, sometimes I got bad allergies. So guess what, I gotta go to a business meeting, I gotta make sure I got my, my paper towels, my cleaners with me, my, my, my lotion, my sanitize, right? Because I may sneeze all of a sudden. So I got a bomb presentation, but yeah, dude sneeze though. Now you hate now, okay? Because you're trying to overly expose a flaw that has nothing to do with my superior performance. Study this video. Understand what hating is And guess what Don't be a hater And stop dissing Alright It's your man Earl I'm rocking the, uh, the, the Urban Christian gear today Alright Figtreeglobal.com Got the polos popping Alright Got the sauce jumping By the grace of God It's Monday Day 169 We out here with the sales Monday, June 6th, 18th, rolling across state to state in Florida, Iowa. God bless you. It's your man Earl, www.deucesswild22.com, www.figtreeglobal.com. Don't be a hater. Understand haters. Peace.